We're putting the west side barred through its paces against three other overstable mid-ranges. But what sets the west side barred apart from the rest? The disc is in the details. Hey everyone, it's Greg from Six Sided Discs. If you're enjoying our Disc is in the Details series, consider supporting us on Patreon or by picking up one of these sweet Disc is in the Details custom stamp discs from Thought Space Athletics. Find them all at sixsideddiscs.com. Now, back to the Bard. Westside Discs is a disc golf manufacturer from Finland and one of the three trilogy brands of Dynamic Discs and Latitude 64 that have been partners since 2012. All of their respective discs are manufactured by Latitude 64 in Sweden and distributed in the United States by Dynamic Discs in Kansas. All three Trilogy brands, as well as Swedish brand Castaplast, Trilogy's hand-eye supply company that makes accessories and bags, as well as spin-off games, the developer behind Disc Golf Valley, were all acquired by Vendis Capital and reorganized into a new parent company, House of Discs. Of the original three Trilogy brands, Westside has the smallest lineup, but their discs follow a very interesting theme. Their disc names and designs are all inspired by the Kalevala, a 19th century work of epic poetry compiled by Elias Lanrot. In its nearly 23,000 verses told over 50 folk stories, the Kalevala tells an epic story of the creation of the earth and is regarded as one of the most significant works of Finnish culture and literature. In fact, the Kalevala is widely regarded as having played an instrumental part in Finland's early national identity and their eventual independence from Russia in 1917. But where does the bard fit into this story? Well, bards were poets and performers, often traveling from village to village reciting epics and poems as an early form of entertainment, and more importantly, storytelling, often telling of the deeds of heroes. In the world of disc golf, the West Side Bard is an overstable midrange, rated at 5 speed, 4 glide, 0 turn, and 3 fade. The Bard is typically available in VIP plastic, a translucent plastic similar to Innova's Champion. You can also find it in their base Origio or Origio Burst plastics, while there are also specialty runs in Glimmer. The Bard is deeper than most overstable midranges. With a chunky feel in the hand along with a bead on the rim, that depth makes it feel much more comfortable for backhands than forehands. Just like an overstable distance driver or fairway driver, an overstable midrange provides players with reliable wind resistance and overstability. Critically though, an overstable midrange won't travel as far as an overstable driver, enabling players to disc down and reduce their distance without drastically changing how they throw the disc. For this type of shot, many players prefer to throw overstable approach discs, such as the Westside Harp or Anvil. However, there are often cases where something with a little more glide might do the trick. This is where the Bard shines. Off the tee, the Bard has more than enough overstability. On Heiser, it pushes left with relative ease. Thrown flat, it only holds flat briefly before getting a generous fade. And on Anheuser, it quickly works back to flat before fading out. While it's rated at a four glide, it doesn't carry very far. That overstability seems to cancel that out slightly, though that is a theme that we'll also see from similar discs. Speaking of similar discs, let's compare the flight of the Bard to that of other overstable midranges. We'll be testing the Discraft Buzz OS, which has the exact same flight numbers of 5403. We'll also be testing the slightly less glidey and more stable Discmania Mutant at 5304, and the Legacy Badger at 6304. We'll be trying to throw these flat at around 85% power to see how they compare to each other. Side by side, the Buzz OS is pretty similar. It has just a touch less glide and just a touch more overstability, and it definitely feels more shallow in the hand, probably more comfortable on forehand as well. Next to the Badger, the Bard does indeed have more glide, but the Badger's flight numbers look accurate because it is indeed a tick faster and a little more overstable. The Mutant, though, is the biggest outlier of this group. It flies more like it has two glide and five fade, crashing out of the sky much faster than the rest. On the course, the Bard has the perfect mix of overstability and glide. 
While some overstable approach discs struggle for distance, the Bard pushes forward while fading, allowing you to still get moderate distance with accuracy. The Bard is more than capable of putting up with any power you can put behind it. The only thing perhaps working against the Bard is how it feels. Big. Compared to the slim profile of the Buzz OS, the Bard is tall, deep, and with a big bead, it has a very different feel. When it comes to choosing an overstable mid-range in this slot, it may just come down to feel and what's most comfortable in your hand. There's no question though that the Westside Bard is a versatile, capable overstable mid-range that could fit in many players' bags. Do you throw the Bard? If not, what do you throw for an overstable mid-range? Leave a comment down below. Remember, the disc is in the details. You can find these overstable mid-ranges and many more at SixSidedDiscs.com or at the link in the video description. For Six Sided Discs, I'm Greg. We'll see you in the next one. All right, we're gonna... <laughs> no, okay. ah! I got the good amount of hand either? Yeah, I'm gonna see how it flies. Want to practice Annie with that? What? Try Annie that. This? Yeah. So you can work on the release. I'm telling you, I come back like this, which is good, but then when I pull through, it's like I. Wait, no, it's right here. You, yeah, you go like this. How the? You drop your elbow. If I keep my elbow. I think you drop your elbow. Because that's because that's, that's what creates that. I think. Yeah, that was a little nose up. Oh, very. So lean. Uh, you're leaning back, but I think you're. Yeah, see? There you go. So you just need that weight on your front foot. Yeah, I have the feeling we're doing it. You ready? Three, two, one, go. Yes. Perfect, 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 perfect. We'll be trying to throw these on the car. There's no question though that the, there's no question though that the West Side Bard is a what am I trying to say? All right, Caleb, did you bring your archer? No. Long Bowman? He's not moving. Oh, he winked at me. It's on camera. <laughs> yeah. I hit record. Man. Yeah. If you like this content and want to see more, please consider liking the video, subscribing to our channel, or supporting us on Patreon. Your support makes this content possible.